What's up, we the bros, and welcome back to the channel. I am on the way to Florence Motor Speedway. I am about 10 or 15 minutes away from there. Uh, so I will be there in just a couple minutes. Uh, just to let you guys know, today is going to be an awesome day. Uh, I got a couple of really cool equipment things that I want to be testing out today, including the uh, Max Lens Mod and the Media Mod for the GoPro Hero 9s. So if you guys are interested in seeing how to set those up or how to use those, then be sure to stay posted for future videos. We've got two videos coming out on the channel that basically show you how to install it and a comparison between that and the other stuff. So be sure to check that out. Uh, so yeah, we're going to go check out Travis and we're going we're gonna to get together with Cam and Corbin. Those two are racing the Bandoleros. If you haven't seen their first race, then be sure to go check that out too. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much all I've got for today's video. I'm going to pray real quickly and then uh, I'll see you guys whenever I get to the track. So uh, let's pray. Father God, thank you so much for the opportunity to wake up this morning and thank you for always listening and always being here for us. God, I pray that you continue to keep your hand of love and affection upon the uh, square, um, the Quad Nation family. I pray that you bless them and keep them safe throughout their very confusing and tough times. God, I pray that you'd watch over us today at the track today. Please keep everyone safe, including the youngsters, as they race their bandoleros. And I pray that you'd watch over all the uh, all the other events as well. I pray that you'd bless us as we go home. In your holy and precious name, I pray. Amen. So, yeah. Without further ado, I'm really excited to get out to the track and start using some of the stuff that I have. So, I'll see you guys in just a bit. Have a good one. Alright, so it is currently 12.57. I just ate a bite of lunch and I decided to swing by my car to uh, pop in here and record Cam and Corbin's intro because I forgot to record that. Uh, but yeah, so far with practice, he's been talking about the car is not the way he wants it at all. So we're going to have to do some like hard reconsidering, go through some stats, look at what happened last time versus this time. I think that's what they're doing right now. I'm just trying to stay out of the way so I'm not in anyone's, uh, not in anyone's way. Uh, we took a couple pictures. Hopefully you'll see those on the Instagram page. Side note, if you want to stay up to date and you want to see some of the stuff that we do outside that may or may not make it to YouTube, then please, by all means, go check out our Instagram and Facebook. We have both of those. We also have a TikTok too, but that nothing really gets posted that often for me to plug that as often. You know, it's kind of just like spur of the moment kind of thing. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much all I've got for right now, so please be sure to uh, to check out Cam and Corbin's video as well. They uh, just got done recording their practice. They did pretty good. Um, so I'll see you guys whenever we get to whatever we're going to get to. You know what? I want to try out the camera with some cinematics, so let's go to that. And normally, I don't talk about me doing cinematics. I kind of just do it, but I want to test the camera, and I'll probably be doing the same thing for Cam and Corbin's video too. But yeah, we'll go right into that then. I need to go get it and then uh, see what it looks like, see how it's doing, see what's up. So, see you guys in just a bit. people we got one more friend out here and about he's uh, actually right there 
cowboy hat and the neon yellow, Chase R. Kelly, go check out his channel. We're getting ready to get rolling. Oh, don't forget Kill a Cam. My boy's out here too.
All right, so this is right after the race. We just got done with everything. Uh, the car is over there, and um, we're all but packed up and ready to go. But before we do that, we're going to talk real quickly. Uh, so you did really good for what I could tell in practice. I mean, I'm not race knowledgeable, but I did. I definitely did think that it was a huge improvement from uh, most of the stuff that we've done before. Uh, can you talk about uh, practice a little bit? Yeah, sure. Um... Yeah, uh, it was all right. I mean, we tried to a few little things i was out of town all week didn't get to work on the car much so it was kind of business as usual just kind of trying to get all our numbers and travels and everything right so uh, it was okay we went out to qualify and um it was about the same as before it was about the same we run the same exact time as we did last week qualified fourth uh same position we did last week and then i tried something different in the race and we just missed it uh -huh pretty disappointed we didn't run very well the car was hitting the track the whole race on the cross member taking it out of the racetrack and uh, just missed it couldn't really show couldn't really tell what it was doing because the cross member was hitting and I just flat out missed it so it's, uh, it's one of those racing deals uh, we kept it on bring it back in one piece and uh, we'll go back and work on it and try again another day that's awesome one thing that I did notice from the race specifically is on turn one and two, you swung a little bit wider, got a little bit of like a slingshot motion, get, almost getting up to where you can pass. But uh, during your awesome battle with an old friend of mine, he actually went to school with him, Bryant Barnhill, number five, uh, on three and four, it looked like you were loosening up a little bit more. Anything different based, based off one and two and then three and four? Well, the car just didn't hit the track as, ba as bad up top. Uh, when I took it down to the bottom, it kind of like de-wedged it and it just turned sideways. I don't know. We just missed it on our setup today. I, I don't really even know where to start. We just missed it. Just trying to hang on and get the best spot we can. So I'd have drove it in the woods if it had drove better. So. Yeah, I understand how that. I understand that feeling completely. It, it seems like if you can't, if you get the bike, or if you get the bike or the car right, it, you have a great day. But then something else happens. But it, you get a bad day, and then the car runs really good. So. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, big thank you to letting us out and record, and then also with Cam and Corbin. Hopefully those videos turn out well as well. But uh, that's pretty much all we've got for today's video. Uh, be sure to stay posted for more of Travis's stuff. Uh, he said last time that we were going for points and stuff like that this year, so be sure to stay posted for that as well. Uh, but that's pretty much all we've got again, so I'll, I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a good one. Shout out my homies, we gon' ball for them trophies yeah, we gon ball. Like they can't hold me, thinking God, I've been chosen Fuck through the motions, all them times, I was hopeless Now we the coldest Look, I've been trying to tell y'all since like 1-3 Got my soul up in the trunk, and my God got the key Spirit trying to talk